We are repeating the same bunch of players, both for the male and the female team. Last time they lost in the semi-final because that was the first attempt. But with the recent, uh, with the recent exposure and the technical input we have given them, we shall come home with a medal. And don't forget, the female team just qualified for the World Championship in Netherlands, which we were denied visa. With that alone, we are sure of nothing less than playing the final. That is the best result you can get now. For you to be a good beach volleyball player, you must be a very good indoor player. The best two indoor players in Nigeria volleyball are here today. We have good luck at SODK for the male and Agara for the female. In the last concluded Custom General Volleyball Championship, they both won individual award as the best players in Nigerian volleyball. For you to play beach, you must have played a very good indoor volleyball. And uh, the issue of when we talk about league, you don't talk about league without sponsorship. We decided to bring this team to Lagos because of the natural terrain, two, because of the corporate sponsorship. The beach volleyball is a marketable product. And we are able to talk with one or two marketing firms that are ready to repackage beach volleyball. We hope after the European Games, it will be a new realm for beach volleyball. Uh, we, we go with a pair and a training partner. The pair is, we all know that the best pair in West Africa, which is Agara Isabella combination. That is the best female pair in West Africa. And for the male, we have good luck, Ayoso DK and Kaode Ajilori. These four players, we are there in Maputo. And these four players are ready to smoke right now. Okay, for the mm -hmm. team beach volleyball, they are off to Ghana this morning. They should be leaving the country by 10 a.m. this morning. Of course, the tournament is starting today, 19. It's going to end on the 27th. And you have countries like Ghana and uh, Niger Republic. Ghana and Niger have actually qualified for the all of care games. You also have Nigeria. Togo will also be there. Togo was supposed to have hosted it, but they pulled out that minutes. Of course, you have a uh, Benin Republic, Burkina oh, Faso. Awesome. These are some of the countries that will be there. It's more like a Solidarity Nations Cup championship hosted by Zone 3. So this is going to help the players to actually prepare well for the all of care games. Yeah. And judging from the fact that when the female team actually qualified for the World Championship, they couldn't go. Mm. Visa issue also. Mm. I don't know why that is happening in Nigeria. Mm. Maybe the embassy needs to do mm. something yeah. really about that. Athletics, remember they faced the same issue too. They just couldn't go. They had right. visa issue yeah. too. Yeah. It's becoming too rampant recently now. Mm. So these players definitely will be leaving for Ghana uh, playing this eight nation tourney and when they come back definitely it will be time for them to go for the all Africa games. The teams have been selected same team that went to uh, Maputo, the same team are also going because the, play, the coaches have felt because of the pay and all that, they just can't, you know, you know, remove them and bring in new players. So they're using the same Not team. Not totally new players. That, that's, that's, again, well, that's again where I have a problem with our coaches. <laughs> the same players you took <laughs> to Maputo four years ago, mm -hmm. the same players are taking to You Congo don't Brazil have a league. Where do you pick them? Exactly. Some of them what, play what, indoor volleyball. Four that's years. You pick four them. years. You see, so, so what have you done in four years to ensure that at least you get two new players two new because places. you're taking players with the same mentality. You they know, finish fourth in Maputo. They've added four years to their ages. That's that's on the problem. The problem is as long as they're still good to go, <laughs> and these are the best me. you have. Yeah. Do you have yeah, options? Do you have options? Mm. You don't have well, options the, at all. He, he, well, he talked about uh, being a marketable uh, uh, product, so yeah. I guess the corporate uh, sponsors need to start looking at that. Yes, that's, I mean it's 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 down to you know how good enough their structure, their organization is before you start to talk about sponsorship. Mm. People don't throw money yes, into, yeah. you know, permit me to say worthless ventures. You've got to package it well enough. You've got to attract the eyeballs to mean that there is something for the corporates to get attracted, you know, about mm. or get excited about. And uh, for beach volleyball, you don't see enough, mm. you know, uh, from the federation, mm. you know, uh, you don't see enough local activity, you don't see enough um, matches, which is why we'll be returning to a competition with the same set of players four years later, like she said. Mm -hmm. There's no production line. There is no opportunity to have a uh, competition on a regular basis where you can, you can you know, um, assess the, yes. the level of quality that, that's available. So where that is absent, the coach has absolutely no choice. Exactly. But to go Rely on what is the so okay. to okay. do a lot about okay. that. I mean, have, uh, when so a situation whereby you even have to pick players who are playing the indoor volleyball for the same tournament. I mean, Priscilla, for instance, she played indoor volleyball and she, she's part of the uh, volleyball team. She's even the captain. But so, you mentioned that. You uh, mentioned exactly. that so, you have to play good, good indoor volleyball before you go to the beach. Some of our beach soccer yeah. players. What? They also uh, play, they play proper yeah. football. But, but check, well. check in other climbs, I mean, other countries. It doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen because you have this different players. You, 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 you can't tell me. They are different sports. Really. Different, different sports. sports. Exactly. <laughs> one is indoor. The other one is outdoor. It's just like your, your it's just like your the ideal isn't you know available to us. Mm -hmm. The ideal would have been to have a thriving 
beach Thank volleyball you. That's league. It. For league yes. Yeah, you know, exactly. Where that is not available. We're now um, using players, of, I mean, uh, people who play volleyball on the court. On the court. You know, to play beach on volleyball. Beach. Beach. <laughs> See, it's not the same. Even walking on the beach alone, try, give it a try. That's Ten why, minutes, for me, everything <laughs> rises and falls on leadership. Yeah. Yeah. You still need to do a lot for mm. talent, discovery, and development. We still need to do a lot for infrastructure. Get you still need to do a lot in organizing competition. Yeah. They, Nobody they, would do it for Nigeria. Exactly. We have, have to do it to, ourselves. To do that. There was a time we didn't know much about Taekwondo. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And then good leadership came in. Mm. And then today, Chuka Chiku Merija is an Olympic bronze medalist. They're taking Taekwondo to the schools, they're doing stuff. Mm. There's a time some other sports have been quiet, but they're yeah. trying their best to come. But you yeah. need mm. to do more. That's what mm. I'm saying. But now today, Afro basket, but Afro basket starts today. And, um, Nigeria again, we haven't mm -hmm. won that championship. You think it's about time? I think it's about time, and I'm excited, particularly um, at this moment in time, with what's happening um, in Lagos, for instance, with uh, the Highland, the Islanders. Yeah, well. Islanders um, yeah with um, the effort they're look, putting in place to get people to come watch their matches. You know, they're making it glamorous again. That's it. You know? that's and it. that's the sort of effort that you need to cause through the entire gamut of, uh, of the, uh, the, the organization or organized basketball in um, Nigeria. Once that happens and we start to depend on bringing people who have never, ever played huh. for any sustained period of time to come and play championships for us, you know, we wouldn't win mm. because, I mean, there are countries that have it, that are ahead of us in that regard. Mm. The Angolans, for instance, the, South the, the Senegalese, for instance, you know, mm. um, they've it's got amazing. players who have an understanding playing together for a very long time. Mm. And so they always, you know, uh, thump, thump us when, it's, when it comes to uh, Afro basketball. So I feel that, yes, um, it's about time we win it or we won it. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I mean, Hoping and expecting that that happens now. Mm. <laughs> well, we're against the uh, Central African Republic. I think oh, that should be that it should be, be a stroll in the park. Stroll in the on park. Paper, but when you <laughs> play the likes of Tunisia, who are the host nation, yeah, Uganda, yeah, who, yeah, who is Angola. also a powerhouse, yeah. for the, for the you know, Olympics. Mozambique, uh, Angola, Angola you know, yeah. then it really the, gets the only, tough. The only team I'm actually okay in this particular only. group. The only team okay, I would say Nigeria in the group. I mean Tunisia. I mean we've beaten Tunisia before. We qualified for the Olympics the last time. I know. Yeah, so and they, we still have <laughs> almost the same players. You still have the Amini brothers. <laughs> yeah, you know that they're still there. You still have Chamele, so and the likes and you Gideon so and all that. that. So okay. they're still there. So and when, when you're looking at the players who've been together at least for a while, I think uh, let me say they've understood each other. Like themselves. that time, you just put them together. Mm. It was hard for them. But this time around, I mean, they've been together for a long so time and all that. Understand. And all of them were really competitive when they were playing in their clubs, mm. you know, across Europe and of course in the US. Okay. And all that. I think okay. that, that that's a good one. I think you <laughs> definitely take them out. I think. They, they win same, together. This same team defeated Tunisia. This same team lost to Senegal. Mm. So... Yeah, that it, was it, it, it you happens. win together, you lose together. It happens. But we, we I mean, you can lose. win all your games. <laughs> what I, I think, I think Nigeria will definitely get out of this group. I just hope they win the tournament so that they get automatic tickets and not finish second, third, or fourth, and you start having we another playoffs play again, again you know, before you qualify for, for real. I don't want that to happen. But all right. Thank, thank you so much for coming around. Thank you for having me. You should come around again. Yeah, I'd like to do it Thank you so much. So, the guys, where are we going from here? Our athletes is definitely, mm -hmm. okay, we have a new president, either way, of course, Sebastian Cole. He was elected early as of this morning, mm -hmm. but it was really a resounding one for him. Let's listen to him, what he had to say, you know, after winning it. He says he really wants to ensure that athletes is back to the very best and also sustain the job that Lamin Diak has done. 